Hey guys, welcome to A Pause for Cinema. Today's subject is going to be music in movies. Let me ask you something. Does this give you goosebumps? I gotta admit it, the music is pretty cool, but honestly, I find this cinematically incorrect. You know, it's the visual stimulation that hits the audience. That's the reason for film, otherwise we should just turn the light out and call it radio. That was Robert Altman on Akira Kurosawa, and if you've been following me since my first video essay on Stanley Kubrick's visual storytelling, you'd have heard that by now. And yet, I find myself continuously watching movies with scores that barely do anything for the actual movie. I personally love The Seventh Seal, but watch this clip and try to tell me that the music is essential to the feeling. The only thing that the score adds is a sense of cheesiness. And this isn't me bashing on Ingmar Bergman, in fact, here's another clip from The Seventh Seal showing another revelation, only this time without the dramatic music. Here, all that Bergman uses is a single pull away, showing us the reactions of several people, until he finally breaks the suspense and shows us the character of death. No music, and in fact, barely any noise just pure visual storytelling. So many more movies fail to do this. Many of them depend on musical scores to pull emotions from the audience so that they end up being the main attraction for the movie. Here's another example from one of my favorite movies, Interstellar, and it's an emotional one too. McConaughey's performance in this scene should be enough to bring us to tears, yet its audio is glazed by a light motif on the piano. Murphy still grabbed his car. But here, in the same scene, the leitmotif is dropped, and all we see is this. You once told me that when you came back we might be the same age. And today I'm the age you were when you left. This might be a real good time for you to come back. That's powerful storytelling. And in his remake of the Hong Kong film Infernal Affairs, Martin Scorsese drops the music in the movie's most critical scene. Notice the feeling of tension in this scene, is much less than the one here. Okay, enough examples. I'm gonna drop some filmmaking philosophy on you guys from one of my personal cinematic idols, Andrei Tarkovsky, through his music producer from Solaris, Edward Artemyev. That's why Solaris has only three scenes of music. It's used sparingly enough so that when it is heard, we the audience feel its uniqueness, and in turn, its emotion. Tarkovsky understood that a single image or a single look could be more powerful than any song and applied that to every single film he made. Papa, è questa la fine del mondo? Using the same idea, in No Country for Old Men, the Coen brothers never use a single piece of music. 
because they know that this type of execution is infinitely more provocative than this one. It's important to understand from a filmmaking standpoint that using too much music in your movie is a bad thing because bombastic scores and over the top sound effects are the last thing you want your movie to have unless you want it to feel like this. Sure, it might look cool, but when a movie is made up of moments montaged together to background music, the end result just doesn't pay off. The use of music inside the actual movie, however, can be very effective. Francis Ford Coppola sinks us into the movie The Godfather with Italian music at a wedding. A Brighter Summer Day shows us the culture mesh between Taiwanese teens and American music. And this scene from The Social Network speaks for itself. A filmmaker's job is to create raw emotion. If a scene calls for a feeling of sadness and the first thing the director decides to do is record the actor saying sad things and then stitch it to sad music, then that's just lazy. I remember everything. It came to me like a flood. But if the scene is well thought out and well choreographed, then you can get something like this. However, there's also a side to cinema where using music is kind of great. I understand that directors want to convey a certain emotion using music, and a lot of the time, I can't argue with the result. Music can be used to show solitude, emphasize grandeur, on despair unsettle the audience and even make them uncertain and in the end the only thing in movie making that matters is never to bore the audience so all I have to say is, use music wisely. Don't underestimate its power. Silence.